Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you guys are doing well. My name is Tracy V. So in today's video, I just want to quickly share with you guys a um, just something that the Holy Spirit had shared with me a while back. Just before I get into this video, do go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Do also let me know that you're here by leaving a comment in the comment section below. So I strongly feel that flies and cockroaches um, that are sent by witches and warlocks and like the devil, basically the enemy, to come and see and watch what you are busy doing and then they go and they report back. So with that being said, whenever I see a fly that is in my house or a cockroach or anything, uh, my initial response is to kill it, like head on to kill it. On this specific day, there was this specific fly that was flying around, but it wasn't sitting down. It was just buzzing and it was going around very fast. And um, just to give you an idea of what I, what my strategy is when I go ahead and I kill a fly. So I wait for it to sit down. So I don't run after it at all. I would do whatever I'm doing and I would just like kind of observe it from the peripheral of my eye. And once I notice that the fly is like sitting down, then I will like quietly creep in and then I will like go and kill it. That has always worked for me. Like I have like a 100% success rate of killing flies with that strategy. <laughs> So, uh, like this specific day though, this fly was just like, the fly was extremely fast and um, it wasn't like sitting down. It was just like, you could just even hear it going like zzzz, and it was extremely fast. And um, as I was sitting, I was thinking to myself like, okay, seeing that this thing is not sitting down, I'm going to just try and kill it. And then as I was like standing up, the Holy Spirit said to me like, um, change your strategy and I think what the Holy Spirit meant by change your strategy is because normally I kill it I wait for it to go sit down then I would go and kill it but what the Holy Spirit meant was is that I should actually go ahead and kill it mid-air in this specific instance sorry and if you I'm pretty sure if some of you guys that has done this before you would notice that like if you try and kill a fly mid-air it's a lot more like it takes a lot more energy out of you to do that and I was thinking to myself like okay I'm not gonna be like out here like running after this fly the whole time and as I was sitting I could see like okay but this fly is like still not sitting down and then um yeah and then I went ahead I took the Holy Spirit's um like its strategy and I went ahead and tried to kill it like mid A. I eventually got the fly but what um I want to take from this is Sometimes in life, eh, if the enemy, if the devil, or witches or lords, or whichever enemy that is in your life, sorry about that, whichever enemy that is in your life knows your every move, then you're in trouble. Okay, because now the enemy would know exactly where to get you and they know exactly where to attack you. And so what makes you 10 steps ahead of the enemy? In, and I'm going to take this back to like a life now, like just a life situation. Say for instance, if the enemy constantly gets you at one specific place, you should go into that area and maybe see what it is that you need to do to fix that. Or um, if there's traumas that you haven't worked on, to work on those traumas. You work on your triggers, you work on those bad habits of yours, you work on your weaknesses. You know that at the end of the day, like you become so strong within yourself that you become powerful because knowing yourself and knowing exactly that okay that trauma that it used to um, trigger me it doesn't trigger me anymore that it makes you powerful because now the enemy can try and trigger you there but it won't work and so um, this is why also why healing is so important and this is why they kind of keep us from wanting to heal because once we heal we make it so hard for the enemy to attack us in certain areas and then just to round everything up quickly where do you get your strategy from so when the holy spirit whispered this in my ear on this specific day um, like I wouldn't have gotten that um, revelation if I wasn't filled with the Holy Spirit or if I didn't allow the Holy Spirit to guide me. So this is also why it is important 
to follow the right God. And I'm now not going to go into religion and all of that. Like, I'll leave that for a whole other day. It's not going to be in this video now. Um, but yeah, it's very important that you, you follow the right God because the Holy Spirit is at the end of the day going to give you the information that you need for whatever challenges or whatever obstacles that is in your way. The Holy Spirit will give you direction and guidance as to what to do with your specific situation. So I'm going to end this off here. If you could take something from this video, do go ahead and like, comment, share. And then also if you have not yet, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye.